Uh, yeah, we, we knew it was a possibility. You know, we, we knew we needed to stay healthy and, you know, maybe catch a break here or there. But we felt like we had a pretty good opportunity to go 10-0. and 0. Uh, Most of our ball games, because of the, the schedule that we inherited when we got here due to the previous lack of success, you know, Axtell had had kind of made it conducive. You know, Dawson's pretty good. Uh, and, and Moody, you know, was probably about where we were when we inherited the schedule. Uh, but we got a good junior class. Of course, we, we got Levi now as a freshman. And so we, we knew if we progressed the way we thought we would, that we, we would have a, I'd say, a 50-50 chance of being where we're at right now. We had a good off season. Um, ever since we've got here, the kids have been hard workers. Um, we had 5.30 a.m. lift last year. Uh, in fact, we were done with weights and track practice before the sun came up most days. And so I think that work ethic and that mental toughness has kind of fed into, into our success this year. And then on top of that, we're, we, we've got some talent. There's no doubt about that. Uh, when you've got a little bit of talent, you get kids that work hard and kind of believe in what you're, you know, you're preaching, then, then you've got an opportunity to maximize results. And so that's what we feel like we've done. I mean, just all summer come up here, get work, get work done and just listen to coaches. I believe I was coming off a pretty significant injury as well. So he missed his entire eighth grade year or virtually all of his eighth grade year. I think he had to play one, one game. Mm -hmm. uh, he broke his foot in track or, or during track season, his seventh grade mm -hmm. year. And then right after that, we figured out he had an elbow situation. Uh, and so he had, uh, what, did you have Tom John? No, I had a crack bone. Oh, that's right. He, he had, so he had a, a, a surgery that kept him out. He didn't even get struck throwing the <laughs> football till June. So, you know, his, his process wasn't normal by any stretch of the imagination. So he had to overcome some injuries. And, and of course, we knew what, what talent he was, but uh, just from seeing him as a seventh grader and as a, as a kid. So, uh, yeah, he's overcome a lot. I wouldn't say his path was normal by any stretch of the imagination. It's great knowing all the kids want to win. Like two years ago, nobody just cared about it. Now everybody comes up here wanting to work, get better. The team ain't built around one person. Everybody has to do the job. So if one person's out, we got to just do, do what we got to do. Well, we lost two of our better players early in the game. And, uh, you know, we you go to Italy uh, – Obviously, they were up for the game. Me and several members of my staff had coached over at Italy. Uh, Colden played at Italy with those kids. So, uh, you know, they were up for the game. There's no doubt about it. And they're not a bad football team. Uh, you know, I, I, I forget who it was I talked to. But, you know, that group of juniors and seniors, when, when they were in junior high, they didn't lose a game. I mean, we beat the dog snot at everybody, including Marlin. And uh, so it's a talented group. It's a, it's a group of tough kids over there. And so going over there, we knew it was going to be a challenge. And, and then when we lose, you know, those two guys right off the bat, uh, it made it difficult. But uh, kids just kept playing hard and battled back and did what it took to win. And that's kind of what we're going to have to do in the playoffs. We're going to get in some tough spots. Uh, we were in a tough spot last year with Rosebud Lott in the first round. We were down by 14, two separate times, and they just kept battling back. So, you know, that that's kind of one of those things where when you inherit a program that's used to losing, sometimes kids don't worry about the scoreboard so much. They just keep playing. And uh, as that confidence slowly takes hold, you know, throughout the weeks and the years, then, you know, you can develop a, a mindset that, you know, you, you just refuse to lose. So, you know, Italy was a challenge. There's no doubt about it. Uh, We'd like to see them again, and uh, hopefully they can take care of their business and we take care of ours when that happens. But, 
Yeah, it, it, I wouldn't say it was our biggest challenge of the year, but it sure turned into the, our biggest challenge once we got over there and those two guys went down. Well, I mean, the first thing you've got to do is is you got to teach the kids what hard work looks like. And, and I'll say that's what the staffs that had been here before, you know, I, it, it's not like some of the other places that I've inherited over the years. Coming here to Axtell, they've had some good coaches here. You know, Cadell was a good football coach. Uh, Blendon is a really good football coach. I think Havard is a good football coach. Russ, Coach Reynolds. So they've had good guys that knew that work ethic was the foundation of success. So the kids, the kids wanted to work hard. You know, it was just kind of. I, I, I've told people intimately here that have asked, you know, what was going on. I said, well, they were. They were doing a lot of the right things. They were just doing them the wrong way. And uh, so this was pretty easy as far as getting the kids to buy into to hard work and mental toughness and whatnot. And, and knowing that with the talent that we had coming, if we, if we could mesh that all together, we'd be successful. You, know? you inherit some places and you talk about morning waits before school starts and track practice and this and that and I mean they look at you sideways they don't know what hard work is and they sure as hell don't want to be any part of it and so you know it's kind of one of those things you're dragging a horse to water but here it, it, it was relatively easy and I think once we we got into it a couple of weeks and um, they started seeing some of the results of that hard work I think you know they they were they were hooked and of course then you know then you got to go out and win football games and I think last year, us having a, a successful season, comparatively speaking, uh, show those kids that, hey, all this work in the weight room, all this work out on the track, it, it does pay off. And so, you know, we've been fortunate every place we've gone to and every place I've taken over, we've had success pretty immediately. And so it, it's been e an easy sale. You know, it probably would have been a hell of a lot harder if we'd gone two and eight last year. Probably Troy. He freshman year he benched ninety five and he got in the weight room ever since and he's probably our best receiver now. I think we've got several guys, you know, and and to say leader, you know, I don't know that we have a raw raw guy, you know, that that's going to be real vocal and and all that. Uh, if you're looking for a guy that's vocal and confident and you know, you're probably talking about Colden, but if you're, we have so many more guys that are leaders. Like he said, Troy, Troy's just quiet. He doesn't really talk a lot, but he shows up and he punches the clock every day and he works his butt off and he, he fights through injuries. And uh, uh, Tyson Michelle, Tyson Michelle's another one. He, you know, he's just, he's a quiet kid. He doesn't say a whole lot. He leads by example. He just works his butt off. And, and we have a really do. We have a lot of those guys that you don't hear anything out of them. They just show up. They're here, you know, at 530 in the morning. And they just they work their ass off. And, uh, you know, Levi's a good example of that. Levi doesn't say a whole lot. He's got all the talent in the world, you know. And I really don't ever hear him brag on himself I really don't hear many of the guys brag about anything going on it's really just more matter of fact and just a business-like approach and so I think we got a lot of quiet leaders that exude confidence and ju just work hard and uh, you know when you have that I don't know that you need to have a lot of rah-rah guys in there I think you can have one or two guys that maybe speak up and are vocal and everybody else you just look around and go well they're handling their business and so they're okay and uh so it's a unique group as far as that goes. Well, I mean, we gotta we've got to take it week to week. Um, we're we're not God's gift of football, you know. We don't get to just show up and get off the bus and and win. So if we don't do things right on Monday, if we don't do things right on Tuesday and Wednesday and so forth and so on. We can we can lose a lot of games. Uh, we can get beat any week, to tell you the truth. So 
again, we're, we're not like some of these other programs around here where, Hey, if you just get the bus there, you're, you're going to win. We we've got to do, we've got to cross all the T's and dot all the I's during the week. And, and that's kind of where that work ethic and mental toughness comes in with the kids and knowing that, that here in actual winning is a process. It, it's not a given. And, uh, so I would say we're a week to week team, you know, we're, we're going to try to beat crossroads this week. And then next week we're going to try to beat Itasca and then whoever we get first round, we'll, we'll do the same thing we've been doing the, the, the last you know eight weeks. Well, the community two years ago, we two and eight year before that one and nine, they just, they didn't really care about football. And then last year, they are, are, and this year, we're off to a good start again. Uh, I guess what it means to me is, you know, it, I, I take a lot of pride in, in knowing that we inherited the situation that, you know, obviously things were, were poised and, and this place was right for success. Uh, the community was hungry for it. So all the things were in place for us to be successful. But, you know, I'm proud of the support that we've got. Uh, that's what the brand means to me. You know, when I when I talked to Dr. Proctor before I decided to come over here, you know, the things he was talking about were the things that you look for when you're looking to make a change like this. And, and uh, the support was there. Uh, all they needed was the expectations and the know-how. And uh, so the, the brand to me it stands for, you know, we're striving for excellence. We're, we're trying to maximize our potential. And we're trying to do, you know, I say this to, to a lot of people, if you got two and eight talent, hell, go four and six, go five and five. If you got five and five talent, go eight and two, you know, but always try to overachieve and, and don't accept who you are. Just work your tail off and, and try to be the best you can be. And, and let the results, you know, happen. And you'll always, you'll always achieve a hell of a lot more success than you will if you just kind of sit back and go, well, this is who I am. This is the talent I have. And so, yeah, the representing the brand here means a lot. It means what Dr. Proctor talked with me about. It means we're going to, we're going to work our butt off and we're going to do the best we can do. And we're not going to accept the status quo. We're going to try to try to be better than, than what we are. And so, kind of touching on what he said you know the community's been awesome in that the kids have been awesome uh the coaching staff the school everything's been been nothing but positive since i've been here and so it makes it it makes it very rewarding not only uh professionally but personally you know it makes it work worth um you know getting up at three o'clock in the morning and being up here till seven eight o'clock at night i mean it you, you don't do those things and you don't do it very long if you're at a place where you're you have people fighting against you and your your backs against the wall you, you've got to have a tremendous amount of support and, and I think that that's why the kids get up and they get here at 5 30 in the morning and I think that's why the coaches and the community uh have uh, been able to push and 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 work so hard towards the success.